it's Kat here and firstly I just kind of want to apologize I don't know if anybody noticed in the last video through my talking that I've been actually really sick over the last few days and I'm really trying to just kind of stick it out and tough it up and keep making these videos for you guys because this is something that I really love to do so I'm really sorry <laughs> but I'm doing my best. So today's video, I really want to do another tattoo talk about my future dreams and aspirations for tattoos that I want to get. And I really want to reiterate that a lot of the tattoos that I have and want, definitely some of them are meaningful to me, but I also really just have an appreciation for art and design. So I don't need my tattoos to have a huge significant meaning as long as I just really love them. That's all that really matters to me. So on that note, my next tattoo that I'm thinking of getting, I have designed it myself and it's a little heart. I had a little stencil right here in the last video that was wearing off um, that you may or may not have seen or noticed. It's a little heart. I want it to be in pink and turquoise and on the inside there's a band and it says book smell and I've been seeing a lot of these heart tattoos recently with little banners and some will say like pizza or Netflix like something really cute so I was like what speaks to me that I really love that I would want on a tattoo and that is book smell every time I buy a book I'm a huge reader I always open it up somewhere usually in the middle and just and it smells so good. Just smells like a library. It smells like grade 6 book fair. Like, I love the smell of books. So that's the next one that I want to get. The one after that, I have two plans for my thigh. One is a design that my boyfriend had made and is on his wall at work. And it is this beautiful, I think it's a raven or at least just a blackbird in general. And it is being shot by arrows. I know it sounds really gruesome and terrifying, but it's actually just a really beautiful piece of art. The shading is really beautiful, and I think it would look really great on a thigh. So I've kind of claimed that piece for the future. Another thigh piece that I want would be a really beautiful illustrative design of a woman's face reading a book. I know I'm so, I just love books. I just want to I already have a book tattoo. I want the book smell. I want a girl reading a book. A design that I have always wanted like for years now. I think I've wanted this since before I even got my first tattoo is a beautiful I think black and gray jellyfish on my thigh. Jellyfish are my favorite animal. I just think they're really interesting and I think that the symbolism behind them is really beautiful as in they just go with the flow, simply stated. They don't have enough power in their movements to be able to really go where they want to, so they ride the tide and they end up being where they need to be at the end of the day. So I've always loved jellyfish, I have a lot of jellyfish stuff in my tattoo room and in my room on my phone i am just so crazy over jellyfish so i would really love a beautiful jellyfish as well going from my hip maybe down my thigh not my whole leg though nothing too huge but something like that for sure i also follow this girl on instagram her name is savannah colleen and i've been a huge fan of her art for so quite some time now and even her personality strikes me a lot. I had messaged her uh, maybe a few months ago because she does a lot of really beautiful, very large scale, ornate, almost henna style tattooing from sleeves to whole back pieces. And I think that maybe 10 years down the road when I decide I would like to get a back piece, I actually told her that I live in Canada, I would fly out to Atlanta and and begin a back piece with her. And she replied to me right away, even though she's a famous tattoo artist, and we spoke for maybe throughout the day for a few hours and we were sending each other paragraphs. I was letting her know that I was just starting to become a tattoo artist and she gave me a lot of really beautiful advice. So um, not only her art really struck me, but just her personality was just so 
enticing and she just like grabbed a hold of my heart so I think if I were to ever get a back piece done which I never really thought of before I saw her work I would totally go to her just beautiful really really peaceful to look at her tattoos what I would love to add on to this arm here is definitely um, a near future hope is I would love to bring something from the back here all the way to the front and I would love for it to be maybe a mix of cedar and holly and pine needles. Cedar is really important to me because it also has ties with my native heritage and holly and the pine needles go with my favorite season which is winter and my favorite holiday which is Christmas. So I think that would be really nice to have some nice botanical leaves and berries coming along right here and cuffing off this part of my arm. I think I have an idea for right here and I think I would like it to be an oval shape as in it would be a scene and I'm thinking of some sort of winter scene maybe with a little bit of color you know mountains cuffed off by maybe some pine and pine cones I'm not really sure but I can picture very Canadian very winter something really gorgeous to represent Canada and where I'm from and the beauty that is within it I think that lastly for the big pieces that really caught my eye is a chess piece that I would love to have one day. I was at work and my boss was going to start some wood burning on this beautiful maple bench and he found this beautiful watercolor painting I think it was and it was in the shape of an oval which would obviously have to change if it were going to go on a chest. It was full of roses and different kinds of flowers and there were little birds and they were kind of in motion perched here and there and there was this beautiful nest right in the middle with a few eggs in it and honestly it was just so gorgeous I think it would be really nice as a black and gray piece um, I'm not exactly sure but it was just so peaceful to me it was really peaceful to, to look at and very recently my mom moved to the country and when I lived there for a small amount of time with her, she was and still is so obsessed with all the birds in the background and researching different types of species that are in Ontario and she would take photos of them and it's honestly just a really kind of peaceful thing to look at and a peaceful thing to do. I'm not too too sure about the nest but I think something really beautiful and nature-like on my chest would be really really nice. I would definitely love, I used to want a beautiful peony on my hand but the more that I do henna, the more that I'm thinking of doing a beautiful henna design that maybe stops at around here or so on my hand. I think it would be this hand because I think it would go with my finger tattoos really well. So I think that's really it for like the larger pieces. I have a lot of favorite TV shows and a lot of favorite movies that I would have to pick and choose from. Like I would definitely want a Die Hard tattoo and a Terminator tattoo because those are huge from my childhood but I don't exactly know what I would get. I know one from my childhood which is the Alien series and I actually saw this get done a few months ago and I was so upset. I was like no that was my idea like how did they read my mind and it's a little kind of cute cartoony face hugger. I don't know if any of you know what a face hugger is. I might put a picture here but they're really scary. Um, holding a sign that says free hugs and I've never seen it done before until a few months ago and I was really sad. Game of Thrones, I have no clue what I would get from Game of Thrones. Like I know I have the script already but I would love a visual image from Game of Thrones. So I really think that that was it. I covered a lot of very large bases. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like me and you like my channel, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I post a video. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any tattoos and what kind of tattoos that you have because I would love to know about the people that are watching these videos and their likes and their dislikes towards tattoos. So I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.